Welcome, everybody. Another episode of Global Comic Safari. We're doing a pickup show. We got some special guests for you tonight. Um, as always, with me is Define Triple Nine, Matt. What up? Hey, what Matt. up? Uh, joining us again, uh, Scott Mack and uh, Josh Allen, who's changed his name yet again. <laughs> <laughs> and joining us for the first time is Steve. Also, uh, Follow him on uh, Instagram, Interglobal Comics. He has posted some amazing stuff. So if you're looking yeah. to see some eye candy, uh, that's where to do it. He's also a, a member of the group Posts Often. So welcome, sir. Yeah, thank you for having me. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, before we get into the weeds, I just want to uh, give a shout out to a couple people. Um, Parallel Irvin has their Hulk 181 set still up on eBay. Limited to 250 on the most limited products, which are the X23 and the uh, Maestro Hulk. So with Maestro getting a new series, they could be pretty pretty popular. Um, good stuff. And additionally, the uh, 500 limits on the top two, which uh, are really really nice. I really love the CNR with the Hulk Wolverine redraw. So yeah. check them out. Give them some love. Parallel Urban on eBay. It's actually Parallel Urban Istanbul. So. Give them some love if you haven't got them. They're really, really cool. And like, shout out Comic Barricade. Um, they are a stabilization and kind of locking system to keep your box in place when you've got a half full or a partial and you're moving around. As we all know, when we're buying the forums and they come in different shapes, sizes, and colors, it's kind of hard to keep them in place. So give them a check them out. If you uh, use the code CBSI Tales, you will get a 10% discount on top of the free shipping. So. Thank you, guys, and welcome. I'm ready to see some cool books. Heck yeah. And always, I'm going to let Matt start, even though I'm oh, scared. Oh, no. We're going to be start. Show, but, you know. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to prepare now. I've got, I've got a, a, a nice little batch here, and um, I'm going to be quick. I'm going to have to be quick because this was this is one that I'm really interested to show because it's basically a whole freaking set. So I bought these off of Hector. This is the Tech 423 set. We have the Swedish. We have the Dutch. We have two Belgian. Oh, two. Two of them. We have the beautiful Italian. Gotta love the way the Italians make their books. Is that Corno? This is not Corno. It's uh, I think it's Williams. Okay. But um, but it's still like the Italian books. It's it's, it's got a decent little size of uh, stories in there, and it's kind of got the more classic uh, title, which is cool. And I I kind of dig the way they did the writing. It's almost got a kind of horror vibe to it, which is kind of cool. French, got the sage. Okay. Norwegian. Gotta love the Mexican Navarros, baby. And it's um, it's pretty good. This one's a pretty good. Um, it's got a black decent, cover too. Yeah, and it's a pretty decent copy. I, I was impressed when I saw this one. Usually, sometimes Navarros can come pretty rough. We see this a lot. Up here, see how they wrote in the issue number? We'll see that in the corners and the triangles. And, you know, I've always wondered if it came from a specific collector, because you see this a lot, where you see them put in the issue number. Because for whatever reason, Navarro just said, why do we need issue numbers? Um, I mean, it, it on the Indicia, it's got the issue number, but they just didn't, I don't know, it just wasn't that important to them to number it. So it's kind of neat. And top it off with the German. Now, the ironic thing about this set is I don't have an American Tech 423, so I think I'm going to have to get one. I kind of like that German. Yeah, the German's cool. The really Lauren cool. Really kind of makes it pop a bit. Did I want you guys, though, to think about all those covers that I just showed, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through them again, okay, real quick, because I want you to 
Pay attention to the cover, okay? German, Mexican Navarro, Norwegian, French, Italian, the two Belgians, the Dutch, and the Swedish. Now, the reason why I wanted you to pay attention was one of those covers is doing something very odd, and they chose to remove something that should have been in there. Which, which country did it? Can you guys guess? No. Let's go through them again. <laughs> Quick. Look, too long. Look, 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 look. Quickly. Which kid is doing his own thing? Oh, that one. Yes. What's missing? The, the uh, title or the... The smokestack's oh. fucking gone. Batman's <laughs> just floating in the air. He's just literally... I guess he's falling? They huh. fucking removed the smokestack. Why? And they put, like, smoke. Do you see that? <laughs> Isn't that weird? That is weird. They just said, "Fuck it. Why do? Why are we gonna? Why are we gonna put the smokestack in there?" That's funny. Yeah, very, very weird. I don't know why they did that. I um, like that. I like that one just because it has more of the uh, the picture to it. You know, very uh, un yeah, unobstructed. Yeah, it's like it's like larger, right? Because yeah. like if you look at like say the Navarro, which probably looks the most like the American, with the banner on the side. Yeah, yeah he's smaller, so. For whatever reason, the French just decided to remove it. I don't That's know right. why. I like it. It's got no nothing to distract you. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. and it's so weird. It's like you wouldn't notice it unless you, someone called it out to you. So that was cool. Or showed I mean, it big, three times. Or just showed it three times, yeah. But I was, I was, that was a good vibe. All right. So Steve's first time visiting. I just want to uh, say thank you. He has generously volunteered to donate a couple books for a pretty sweet giveaway. If you want to show them for us, it's a couple of these Russian Russian books that seem to be pretty hot these days. The one eighty one, fifteen. Yeah, I have seen those popping up and around. Oh, I mean, yeah. anything Russian, it's got that that vibe. It just looks cool, kind of like the the Greeks with the the language. It just it doesn't. It looks so foreign to us that it it sticks out. So, yeah, he has volunteered to give us those. And if you're in the U.S., it's free shipping. If you're international, then you just pay the shipping price to get them to you. What you need to do to enter is watch the video, of course, give it a thumbs up, and give us a comment. Let us know. Let us know anything you want. I don't even really care. What did you like? <laughs> what you didn't like? How many sure. minutes did I limit Matt to? Or just yeah, uh, another book you'd like to see in Russian? I don't Why care. How hot Matt is? Why don't we talk about how hot Matt is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody's gonna do that, and Heather, <laughs> Joe, Heather Joe's gonna punk you on that one. I'm sorry. Oh, she will. I promise. All right, Steve. What, what do you got? You, you right. First time here. I'm sure you got something amazing because I've seen you post some cool books. Yeah, so for the first one, it's nothing too crazy, but it kind of just ties into the Russians that I was giving away. But I've only ever seen two ever pop up for sale. I told you, saw you talk about it, and then somebody popped one up. Just on oh, yeah. yeah honestly, right on. I, I've never seen that. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, That's I've cool. uh, I never saw it either, yeah. and then I saw one on eBay, and it disappeared, and it like wasn't on the sold listings, wasn't anywhere, just disappeared, and then like a month later, it reappeared, and I just jumped on it, uh, and I actually got two of them, and then uh, Nick from the group, he was in Canada, he has another, and those are the only two I've ever seen. So it was a free comic mm. day? Yeah, what yeah the, that's what this says up here, it's free comic book day from last year. That's awesome. I look all over every wow. Russian site I could find, and I couldn't couldn't find any. Cause, Dude, that's rad. That's rad. Yeah, and I figure it's gonna be tough to find on the secondary market just because, yeah, it's free comic books. So. That's that's one of those we won't say is rare, but very difficult to source or find. Yeah, and it's that all black border makes it pretty hard to find. And you know, he shipped it pretty good, but one got kind of mangled, and the other one came out in decent shape. So this one's the better one. The other one's got a little mangled up. But, Are you gonna uh, slab yeah. it, Steve? Are you gonna slab uh, it? Uh, and I don't really have. I mean, I've got like a pile of books I was thinking about slabbing, uh, but I don't. I own one slab book. I'll show later, uh, and that's it. 
So I might get into it. I might not. I'm just thinking about it right now. Yeah, I, I, I'm not. A, I don't slab most of the the foreigns for some reason. I mean, if I if I buy them that way, I will. But I, I just am not dying to do it. They're rare enough as it is. I, unless it's something really special, I don't care enough to do it. Yeah, I feel like uh, I have a couple books that like have the cover but not the guts, and I'm just like for that, I don't care. I'll slab it. You know, if it's in good shape, just yeah. the story doesn't matter. Yeah. So why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, Josh. What do you got for us today? And you, you're all over the map sometimes. So lately, right your focus, your focus has been shredded, bro. I know, and it, that's what we're going to talk about today. So <laughs> first, we're going to do this. Where's that this one? Is, this is the mini French BH. Oh, very nice. That's a cool one. Yeah. Um, totally outside of my focus, but when did that get printed, cool. Josh? Hmm? Do you know what year that was printed? I do not. I have to look at it still. Wasn't that like some sort of giveaway or something? Like a, a movie or something? Oh, it could have been a Birds of Prey giveaway. Yeah, I forget. The, I think that's what I heard the story about. It. I know it's pretty rare, but I don't know. Oh, those yeah, those movie there. giveaway books, man, are sometimes impossible. Yeah. Hmm. That makes sense. Birds of Prey giveaway. Yeah. yeah. J, JF mentioned something about it. And that's where I heard that, maybe. Huh. That's who. That's who I got it from. So, yeah, Dude, yeah I, don't, a man. I, don't, I don't want to talk about that lot you got. I'm, <laughs> a little, I'm mad. Just a little sad. Oh, you, sorry. Sad, John. Poor John. JF was shooting pictures apparently to him, and roguely sent one my way, and I went, "Oh, I want it." He goes, "Oh, you're second in line." Oh so. shit! <laughs> <laughs> accidental, accidental book. So, all right. Scott, I'm, I'm going to send you up. What do you got today? Oh, let's see. What do we have here in the old cookie jar? Um, I'll do these first. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. shit. These are the Filipino Alamar Bookstore Star Wars number ones. So, oh, shit. I like how you say Poro. Yeah, I was working on these. This was, the, this was well, originally it was the last book I needed. And to make a long story short, I I ended up getting well, I ended up getting a couple of the yellow bannered one, and this one came the green banner one came up and it was in nice condition. So I really I went after it. I really wasn't paying attention to the the color variant initially, and once I got it in my hand, I think it really struck me, and I'm like, wait a minute they're different colors and I started looking through them. And when I paged through them, I noticed that the advertising, although they were the same ads, they were in different places. So I think wow. it's, I think it's pretty evident that it is a separate edition. I don't know yeah. if, it's the, if it came first or second, but that's so, pretty much the difference. It's the so, advertising in it. So the scholars have not figured it out yet. We no. haven't cracked the code. But breaking news: There's two fucking Filipino editions. Oh, good, you know, good job, Star Wars collectors. That that's a that's a kick to the nuts. It is. I, I think <laughs> <laughs> it couldn't have been a worse book to have to get two copies of. Oh my this god, hard to come by. <laughs> yeah, and um, brutal, dude. I know. I know. Ron, he has a he has a photo of one, so he's got one in his collection. So I, there is more than one, but most of the time that I see scans of this book, it's the yellow banner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Goodness gracious. Uh, Matt Trushell has two of the yellows. So are those, Go ahead. Are those the only two green ones that you guys know of? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't seen any other green ones. Too. Crazy. That's <laughs> You gotta find it twice. Oh god! Yeah, just ha just finding one Filipino Star Wars one is is a monster journey. To have to find two, oh god! And the green one, like Scott said, we've only seen like two two of them, maybe. So we really don't know which one came first, which one. I mean, yeah, who knows when they were published versus mm -hmm. the other? If you look at if you look at uh, Ron's blog. He, he actually called it out several years ago, but nobody really paid attention to it. So I think it just goes to show you that we've all been doing this for a while, and it could be right in front of your face, and you don't see it. Mm -hmm. 
we're still learning. So if you're a set yeah. builder, it just kind of goes with the territory. But I did finish the set, so. Woo! Nice. Well, as far as you know. <laughs> as far as I know. Well, the pink banner, Filipino. Well, when I say finish the set, I should probably qualify. It's the classic shake and cover. I, yeah. I, I know Ron, he counts the set with the guts. Yeah, we, so we, I don't, don't want to think how deep that goes. Yeah. Yeah. I like, okay. I'm for, for the shake and cover set. I'll say that to qualify it. It's a big no deal though. It's a big deal. Yeah. And it's a huge challenge. And I think I only know of how many Scott have people have actually completed that set, like three or four people that we know of. And that's it. Um, yeah. So me, Ron, I guess Matt finished it. Because he's got the bound edition of the Little Greek, huh? Yeah, and I guess I would say. Well, who would be the other one? Do you, well, well, I me would say sorta. You, I would say yours. Just what are you missing? I'm missing the back ad of. Uh, well, I was missing the the Tele Junior, which I just recently got thanks to JF. Bow down to JF. Um, but I'm missing the back ad Arabic from the Hulk issue. Uh, and yeah, that is in Lebanon. What's up? It's on the way, though, right? I'm not. I'm not for sure, dude. I don't know. I hope. <laughs> Maybe it's, it's, it's paid, paid for. for. It's paid for, but paid you for. know. But I, you know, our contact there, Scott's got a lot of shit that's going on right now. He almost died in that explosion. I'm just like, oh, wow. Oh yeah. You know, I told him. I said, you know what? Your country's falling apart literally right now. Get it in the mail when you get it. But as all things with the foreign world, you never know. I mean, I might not ever get it, but um, you know, until you actually get it in your hands, all kinds of crazy shit can happen. If you get stopped by customs for all, you know, we, we never know. But I would say that mine is complete. Um, so what is that? Four? Four people have completed it. Yeah. Um, that's not a lot. Oh. That's uh, a you're that building. Big building is a crazy thing and you get into those hardcore ones it's a it's a monster so it's a monster and that set is mm -hmm. a monster seems like there's a lot of people trying to build that set but probably not many people are going to finish it yeah exactly that's going to be one that for a lot of people they're just not going to finish well and but see this is the thing this is the rub is my set complete i don't have a green banner filipino nope not anymore it's not so honestly i can't even say it so really scott three hey. <laughs> Scott, well, actually, Matthew, Gabriel, and Ron. Matt Gabriel doesn't, doesn't have the green label. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, then it's only Scott and Ron. <laughs> <laughs> two All right. people. I'm going to keep it moving because Matt's been yeah. talking a two-hour show. I don't have two hours. So. All right. My what first do you got, one. John? I'm going with a, an obscure one. Just cause This is a cover I like. I got it in a batch of other things. It's the cover to Action 425. It's a classic Cardi cover, um, Denmark, and it's uh, just amused me. I like this cover. I've, I've collected, you know, the U.S. one a couple times. I have a few, but just the idea that it's kind of the, one of those iconic Americana images, and then you add that it's in a foreign country. It, it just struck me as interesting. So as I was buying some other stuff, I'm like, throw this one in, and I'll, uh, you know, I want that. I don't want, you know, for the for the shipping. I will pay the price to get it. So I thought it was pretty cool. I've seen it in a couple other languages. I won't say I'm building the set, but I think if I see them, I'll pick them up. So it's a cool cover. Yeah. Is that is that a black cat behind you? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I don't know what you're talking about. And the classic chamber of children. Were you golfing mm -hmm. diving? Yes. Oh, I, God. I, I do I do many shows and I was left over from the Golden Age show this week, so we dived into Harvey Horror. I, it's beautiful. I regret this. I'm gonna give it to Matt again, but I'm uh, I'm gonna have to. Don't do regret. Some, this is gonna be quicker. This is I'm gonna do some quicker. serious editing on Matt. I think. Uh, this is a quick one. Okay. Oh, I lost you. Oh, that was really quick. Um. Yeah, dude. I picked up this beautiful Avengers 57 Laprenza. Uh, it, it was an upgrade. Um, I ended up selling my undercopy, but. This book came out real. I mean, I mean, it's it's it a nice. tough cover because of the black, you know. Yeah, and and, is not known for. Yeah, you, usually they're pretty. They're pretty. They're pretty rough. But you know, I was I was stoked. That's very very happy. happy. Yeah, I mean, it was a no brainer. Picked it up from Rulo. 
Yeah, that's a nice book. Good book. It's a blue chip. Yeah, it's a, one of those books you can turn liquid at any time that you need. All right, Steve. I, I know you probably aren't prepared because you thought you had five more minutes, but let's rock it. <laughs> All right, well, I got the uh, the Greek one twenty nine. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. that is a tough, tough book. That's one of the big ones. That's a biggie. Yeah, yeah. I got it just recently. Um, got it from Gabriel. Um, he really hey, helped me out. Man. He's yeah, that dude it. is a rock star. He's a rock yeah, he's star. A, he looked for it for two years. Oh, man. Finally got it for me. And uh, I told Matt how much I paid for it. I won't really mention it here, but it, it wasn't wasn't much. Oh, for good. What it is. He got some good comic karma. Steve got some comic karma going his way. Well, yeah. you know, that, that pays off. Comic karma keeps us going, especially when you're dealing with people in God knows how many countries and places mm -hmm. and whatnot. And uh, man, those Greek books are tough. They're but tough. You get into those Spider-Man sets, and man, that's that's one that's going to give you a nightmare. That yeah. Greek Spidey's gotten expensive. Yeah, it has. I know for a fact that someone paid five hundred dollars for one, and this was, that was years ago. Wow, that wasn't years ago. That was just no. Re recently, our buddy. It was a private sale. Oh, yeah. I mean, that book's tough, and you or, know, or, or, or it was two years ago. Or, so that's always been a big one, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Greek Spidey. You get it. You get uh, one of those big key issues in in one of those tough countries. You call that a big win for the week. Have it's cool to hold those in your hand. <laughs> yeah. So outstanding, man. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. All right, Josh. What do you got? I'm. I'm. A, you're gonna do it to me, aren't you? <laughs> uh. Well, I don't know which one it is, but so we're gonna we're gonna do this one. Oh. Oh, nice! Be my my double key. So this is the Navarro Hulk 180, 181. Um, it's interesting because it it has the whole 180 story, but it doesn't have the whole 181 story. It's only like six or seven pages of it. But huh. I mean, it's still you know. Hey, it counts. First cameo, first app. So you got you got the first picture and you got the first half of the story. We'll call that a win. Yeah. So does Navarro have the cover, or does it not have the cover? No, anymore? it doesn't no, use not, the 181. Not that I've seen. Which is mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. Huh. Same thing with the French 181. It doesn't use cover. There's no mm -hmm. debate then. There's no debate. Is this the the big one or is that the big one? That's the only. Yeah. App. Yeah. 180, 181, all wrapped up in one package. All is right. that smaller than a normal comic size? It looks pretty small. No, it's uh, it's not bad. Here, it's a Gila, isn't it? Isn't it a Gila? Like a normal. Yeah, it's, I mean, I'll compare it to like an American. So it's like, uh, it's not, yeah. it's not bad. Yeah, it's the, uh, it's the, uh, the my light. It's the ostrich. Yeah. No, it's the Navarro. Ostrich. It's Navarro. Yeah. yeah, it's Navarro. Oh, yeah. All right. Cool. Very nice. I see. I saw that one. That's not the one I'm angry about, though. So we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna reach through the screen and grab you by the throat, Josh. All right, Scott. I'm not uh -oh. sure how you follow that one up. So what did, what did you bring for round two? I, I think I can follow that one up. So this is a trio. Let's see here. Woo! Oh yeah. Oh man, I'm jealous of that one. So yeah. like um, Navarro Swamp Thing. So this is this is the Batman one, and this yeah. book is probably oh, if it wasn't for this little tiny chip in the corner, and there's a little nick up here, it'd probably be like an eight point oh. It's just Ooh. a stunning, stunning book. That's and I, I have not seen these for sale since basically the um, H and G ones that uh, Ulysses put up for sale. Does this fall into that kind of DC? kind of non superhero stuff that just wasn't very popular or very well kept, I guess. Well, it's very pop. Uh, the swamp popular thing now, but at the time was very hot. Oh yeah. You're saying because DC just wasn't hot. You, yes. Mexicans and Latins tended to be Marvel zombies. So yeah, these are harder to get. Yep. Yeah. That's accurate statement. This wow. one, this one right here, was probably the bottom copy of a newsstand delivery because it's got the classic 
it looks like it had string marks on the back of it. Twine corners. Yeah. Yeah. Like if I if I pulled it out and turned it back, you'd see little marks. Huh. They're perfectly aligned. It was they were probably stringed together, and it um, left it left the mark. Yeah, left on the, the mark on there. But I've got all one. I've got the first ten Bernie issues now. So that's I say that set's complete. My Hello no Swamp. That's it only beautiful. Took, those were some of the earliest books I started to chase. So, um, like what 2012, 2013 is when I really started looking hard, and that's how long it took me to finish it. Only seven years wow. of change. <laughs> yeah, Not, nothing, nothing big. <laughs> that's beautiful. Congrats on that, Scott. I'm jelly of those, dude, especially that robot cover. That's one of my favorite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cover. And that I have to, I have to give a shout to my brother, JF. JF? The guy's a, the guy's a legend, man. I told, him, I told him to put the heat on to find those, and he even found himself the one. So Outstanding. Team, yeah, teamwork awesome. makes the dream work, as we say. Yep. I, should, I should not have followed Scott. I miscalculated that. <laughs> so I'm going to go with a pair today. Um, got a pair. Oh, of nice. 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 Green Lantern 76s, both Navarro. Uh, both kind of low grade, kind of three, four ranges, but they present okay. Um, and one does have the writing. So that's got the Do so they have the number and, uh, on there? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Is that the Mexican or the Spanish? It's the Mexican. Are, yeah, both the uh, Mexican. I did not get a Spanish one, so. Which is tough. You know what, John? The Mexicans are tougher. The fact that you landed two, you always see more of the Peseta Spanish of this book than the Mexican. So that was a good fucking buy, dude. I didn't. I didn't underpay for them, but it's one of those books I just felt was maybe undervalued across everything. Um, you know, American edition, I think is undervalued at this point. It's kind of losing interest and, uh, yeah. it's kind of even more relevant now than when it was published. So I, I just, to me, I'm surprised that the book in general has not gained a little more attention recently. Um, it's a classic, classic cover. And I thought I'm going to grab these while I can, cause maybe one of those books that just kind of disappears. That was a good buy, dude. And I, yeah, I'm telling you, I never correct. see the, the Mexican. I always, always see the see Spanish. It. Yep. All right, you Matt. Always see the Spanish. Okay, how many more rounds do we got? This is the last round. So last round. Okay. Make it count. Okay, I better make it count. Woo! Oh. Brazilian Iron Man one. But why is the Brazilian? I you know people will be like, well, that's pretty cool, but you can find them. Yeah, you can find them. You can find this book. This book is in great condition. It's got. Oh yeah, you got a nice. It's got a little bit of a stamp up there, but it's not bad. But this is the reason. It's clean. This, this is the reason that this book. And I was supposed to say in Brazilian, Victor. I'm going to do it in English because I can't remember how to do it. In <laughs> Victor, <laughs> Victor, you are my Brazilian hero, my friend. You are my hero. You are the wind beneath my wings. You know that song, Wind Beneath My Wings? Who sung that? Um. Uh -huh. uh uh, Streisand. Barbara Streisand. Oh, Look oh, at that. Beautiful. That is why this is so special. You got the poster in it. So if you this, recall, way back when we did the Iron Man 1 set, it had to be January type. We talked yeah. about it, and we didn't know there was a poster until somebody goes, do you have the poster? Yeah, and we're like, poster? And, then, and you know, they didn't do have this poster on the cover. It does say that, but I, but see, I thought that was like an interior panel, like a, I didn't know it was an actual poster because I looked on the Brazilian database when I was researching the show and it's usually pretty comprehensive. The Brazilian database doesn't have this poster. It doesn't say anything about it. And it's so, not stapled, not attached, just a loose mm -hmm. insert. Just a loose insert. It just slips yeah. in. It just slips in. And nobody in the group had a poster because we couldn't nope. even find an image until someone scoured Some, and got one. Yeah, Maria, Maria Elisa found the image for us. So I'm going to actually get this professionally framed. I was just at the framer today, actually. 
We are, my wife and I are, she's pissed because this tattoo sucks. I did it while I was drunk. Oh. And my buddy was drunk when he was doing it. So my wife said, we got to go get that thing fixed. So I'm going to get this covered up. And the framer, the, the framer is right next door to the tattoo shop. So I went in there and talked to him about it. Saw some examples of some other stuff he's done like that. He uh, just recently did, uh, some guy was at a Pantera concert and got a drumstick. And he wanted uh, the drumstick framed with his ticket and some other stuff. And he did a really good job. So I'm going to get that framed. Um, and then I can't go without talking about my boy, Josh. Josh. Hey, look, look at that. At that. Look Very nice. at that. Signed by the man himself. Beautiful. Five, five. It was pressed. I mean, yeah, I got a what whole grade bump. So. Got a grade bump. It was a four, five. Josh, you're the man. And you know what? Because I can't do surprises. <laughs> I'm not good at surprises. So what am I doing with it? Uh oh, he lost it. You were going to get something, but he has now lost yeah. it. The dog ate I it. I was going to give you something. Ghost ate it. it. Hold on one second. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. So, Josh, I'm sending you that book that we know of that we were dealing with. The room. Yeah. I'm going to give you this, my friend. Why is this oh. special? John actually had two of these and he lost them. I did, well, I don't know. Maybe I did. These are special because this is the Indiana Comic Con exclusive. There was oh, a small God. print run of only, I think we did 400 of these. I only have two of these that left, my extras. I'm going to send you one of these in that package. That's and, awesome. Uh, you. you and Bjorn are both getting one of these. Did, did we send you these, Scott? Did we send you the one or two of these? No, I don't of have the those. Ford comic. Probably, probably 375 of them are in uh, a landfill in Indiana somewhere. <laughs> probably. It's, I mean, yeah, we, we printed like 500 of them, and uh, that's it. So they're the only copies left. So you're going to get a little piece of foreign comic history in your yeah, pocket. Cool. I'm excited to look through that. So, cool. Thank you. Nice. All right. Uh, good job, Matt. That was quick. See, I'm working on it, John. God dang it. All right. I'm going to go, Steve, for the last round. I do want to remind everybody, Steve's donating those beautiful um, Russian books. So remember to comment and like this uh, video. Tell us whatever you want to tell us because I, I don't care. Comment on how Matt did a good job staying on track most of the show. Yep. Um, we appreciate it. And, again, it would be free shipping in the U.S. If you're international, then you can work it out and figure out that pricing with uh, Steve, but thank you so much for doing that. Yeah, yeah no problem. What are you closing out with? Uh, I guess I'll do a couple of them. Woo! Oh, just, just little guys. They'll do. Woo! Nice wow. one. Beautiful. And then, uh, Matt, help me find this. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to take That's a little awesome. credit there. He, Steve wouldn't have had that if it hadn't been for me. That's a secret honey hole. That I only shared with Steve. Wow, <laughs> I've seen the Mystic. I've not seen the the Mexican. Wow. Yeah, this one unfortunately it was actually trimmed. You can see how close it is up top. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Are we sure it's trimmed or just miscut? Why was uh, it trimmed? Sure it's trimmed. Just but compare I'm, it to I'm another La Prenza. You'll be able to tell real quick. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, it's yeah, it's smaller. It's issue. a little tiny bit smaller. Okay. But uh, but yeah, this uh. This one, I, I both of these, I think I paid pretty, uh, pretty good deals on. I didn't, I didn't go as high as I thought I would on both of these, so I'm, I'm pretty happy. Uh, and they're both from 1965. Yeah, they're they're Silver Age, dude. That Mystic's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. It's nice. The Mystics are are picking up in, uh, in interest. Yeah. Oh yeah. The U.S. market's getting kind of intrigued. You know, the U.K. books seem to be the first place people are drifting. The pens copies. Yeah. I had talked about on uh, the flip side how Pence is gaining some some steam, so those Mystics will kind of probably hit it too. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, just, I just sealed the deal on the Creepy World Thirty Two. Finally, I've been looking for, and it's a low grade copy, but I got that one coming soon. Wow, yeah, nice! You were, you were nice. a beast. He's yeah. killing it. Selling a lot of Russian stuff. Apparently. Well, hey, 
if if you can find something that you can get uh, a good deal on and maneuver it to get something else you want more, that's that's all we're usually doing, you know. Yeah, yeah. Those Mexican yeah. keys, you don't see them as often as you used to. No. Yeah, they're drying up. All the low hanging fruit of those are gone. They're 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 in collections, never to be released for a while. So. Yeah, I don't I don't see. Well, the only ones on eBay are very very expensive right now. Yeah. Yeah. And I still mm -hmm. look at him and go, maybe. <laughs> hey, Brian sold, Brian sold those Daredevils. Those sold. I and mean, he had a good price on those. It was like Daredevil 1. And what was oh, yeah, he dropped it. And I went, oh, goodness. Yeah. One, yeah, two, so, one, two, one, two, four, five, seven or something one, two, like that. One, two, four, five, seven. I was, was too slow on that deal. It was an aggressive price. Those were nice. Mm -hmm. they were nice. He must have had something he needed bad. Mm -hmm. All right, Josh. What you got to end the night? All right. I think is this the one that's gonna make you choke me or Yeah, maybe. Oh that's the one he, he snapped a picture of and all of a sudden I'm like, Oh yeah, yeah. He goes, Oh I'll somebody's take it. already working on it. Yeah. So that is the Mexican three hundred. Pretty one. Right? Yeah. I love the yellow yeah. circle it's... too. I really do like it. And those are such a bugger because of the the oversize they don't fit in anything oh yeah. my god i did not realize how big these were until yeah, today when i put it in this i had to use a mag this is a magazine size <laughs> magazine size my light not yeah. a size standard yeah i was like holy moly because they don't i don't even think they fit in the magazine size um like if you buy like a bcw those are a little too short oh are they yeah they're they're a pain it's yeah a i have no size. idea I just, I just pulled out like a regular my light and board and then I was like, whoa, wait a second. <laughs> yeah. So then I pulled out like a golden age one and I was like, are you kidding me? So then I had to pull out the magazine one and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, they're big. They're big. Those guys are beasts. A little, little more to appreciate. That's it. You know, yeah. Great. Beautiful book and probably great. a wise, wise investment because we're seeing those 300s just people – clamoring for them i mean yeah lots of questions on the spanish one all of a sudden the italian's been getting hot and those mm -hmm. are some of the easy ones fastest so. growing set in the hobby oh yeah how much does an italian 300 go for like now like on american ebay they've been floating in the hundred i mean i don't even see them listed in america they're usually yeah. still out of italy but if anything near 100 to 115 goes i've seen them kind of sitting at 140 right now but it also depends on condition yeah. there's uh i think there's one or two graded ones on ebay right now yeah they're they're price sky high yeah yeah the, the nine the nine four G, cgc is that what did he price that at john it's like two thousand yeah he's not getting mm -hmm. any offers on it he's just he's just showing it off so yeah that's a tough look to get above that so oh yeah getting it past nine getting one that's up past nine is very yeah. difficult we just saw a nine two get get made with the friend from uh, the group Peter has showed it yeah. off pickup. So that's a tough book. Anything above, honestly, eight, five. So, yeah. Yeah. All right, Scott, I don't, I don't know what you're going to bring next. Cause that, you've been blowing me away here. <laughs> <laughs> so we discovered, I don't know who discovered this one first, but I, maybe Matt, it might've been you. But it, 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 it comes in an individual and a hardbound edition. So I finally got the actual book. Oh, wow. Mm. This is the Mulhad, the, Air, the Lebanese. Beautiful. This is the first. We were pretty sure this is the first edition. Yeah, it's the harder. I think it was Nor, It was Doc Scott. Doc yeah. might have been the first one to get this. To figure, one, yeah, to figure out the difference between that and the soft. Huh. Well, there, there's... Two hardback editions. the The ad is different on the second uh, one. Oh. Mm. But so this basically has this is beyond the universe, and it's a collected edition. And they basically reprint. They took all their back stock, new old stock that didn't sell because they, uh, according to Matthew or Henry Matthew, who was the translator, they didn't sell a lot of these until the Grindizer T kids show came out and that's really what boosted their sales. So they started issuing these to sell their back stock and they, they bound them and anything that they didn't have enough of, they just reprinted it to backfill it. Huh? So it's got non star Wars stuff and then it has the star Wars. So like you can see, 
Pretty There's the first. Time. This nice. is the first one. And then another Star Wars cover. So these were printed and then just bound as leftover stock. Exactly. So the, this was, pro, I, I think, 78 or se, no, 79, he said, is when they started printing the first editions. And then it was like 80, 81 when, they st when Grindizer hit the scene. And then they started re-releasing all these. Wow. That's a cool one. So this one right here, another Star Wars cover. You can see it's like they redid their own art. And, and there's a little X-Wing. Oh, trying to get it in the corner here. Yeah. See the little X-Wing? That's cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I like that. And then the last the last cover, which I really like. I do like that one. Yeah, it's cool. The nice that's redraw. awesome. There we go. Trying to get this lined up to the camera. Very cool. Spot colored. Spine is beat to hell. I got it from a seller in Kuwait. Of all places, oh goodness! I was surprised it it made it. Shipping time was probably like what four or five days. The guy oh, used wow. DHL. Mm. Yeah, it's that's right very now. very affordable. Nice, good to know. DHL seems to be the the best option right now as far as if you need speed. Yeah. If you if you want reliability and speed, DHL is the way to go. They're getting through. And customs is doing their thing but that's the danger yeah yeah i've had customs notifications on every package i've got oh, every single one's been open that i've seen mm -hmm. so hopefully i don't know what the hell they're looking for but just talk to your people and tell them to package them up. they can see through the package like if they open the package the box and they can see what's in there they're pretty okay but if you if they've got to cut and, and investigate you're going to head into some trouble so just talk to who you're buying from Get like a razor blade on the cover or something. Yeah. Kiss that comic goodbye. <laughs> oh, man. That's a horror show. Yeah. Most of my right. packages recently have gone, been wrote, you know, opened up and rifled through. Exactly. It's been a mess. So pray to the comic gods and keep the comic karma going so that hopefully you'll make it. Yeah. All right. I got Bring one. It on I, I've been waiting, and I've been deciding between a couple books. I decided to go with this one. I, I showed it off on IG and maybe talked about it on the Monday show, but really like this one. Yeah. French-Canadian um, First Carnage 361. This is actually issue one of the series, published in 93, um, graded 9.4 because I keep covering it up. I did some quick research. JF had it listed for sale on the site. I'm like, man, I don't know if that's a good price or bad price. I got to think. I got to think. Uh, check the census. There's only a handful of nine fours, like three or four, and one nine six. Um, so not many slabbed. And for it being so close to the U.S., you would expect to see a few more. There just mm -hmm. does not seem to be. Everybody's after the Canadian price variance in the U.S. market. Yeah. I just kind of jumped that ship and said, "Well, I'll go for the French Canadian because we know there's less of them than there are the price variance. So why not?" Oh yeah. And according to Stefan, their higher grade ones are hard to get. That's yeah. what I heard. Well, they're not. There's a couple graded in the in the mid ranges. The thing I really liked was the back cover it has a really cool carnage image too. Oh, that's really yeah, that's cool. awesome! So instead of yeah, that, you get a you know you kind of get another bonus image. So that's really really cool. Very very happy with this book. All right, gentlemen, nice work. Made it through in pretty quick time. Thank you to Steve for joining and uh, doing the awesome giveaway for the. AF15 and uh, 181 Russian. So everybody remember to comment and uh, like and just tell us. Yeah. I don't care. Whatever you want. And uh, talk, you talk like about that. how hot. Talk about how hot Define Triple Nine is. You, how bad you know, that I'm a, tattoo I'm an, is. I'm an attractive man. And, you know, woo, I, you're going to scare right. him off, man. You're going to scare him <laughs> off. Um, so, Good having you, Steve. Yeah, thanks for having exactly. me. Exactly. Welcome. Continue to share the awesome stuff you're picking up. Gosh, uh, follow uh, on Instagram. Nice pickups, guys. Yeah. yeah. Interglobal Comics, if you want to follow, and he posts a lot of cool books. And uh, as always, thank you all. 